Hello, I'm Helen Reinecke Wilt of Arlington County's Initiative to Rethink Energy and Green Home Choice Program. You're about to watch one of a series of videos we call How to Build a Better Home, the story of the construction of a passive house. We hope you'll find some useful tips about making your home greener and more cost efficient, whether you're building a new home or simply upgrading your present one. Here's Green Home Builder Patty Shields of Metro Green with today's tips on stormwater runoff. It's about lowering your energy bills. Consume less energy and water. We take up a less carbon footprint. More comfortable. Super quiet. You will reap the rewards for the life of the home. I think it'd be great if people see homes like this and think about green design when they're building a home. We are so glad we're getting near to near to the end of this project and so want to talk about some of the things we've done on the outside. This house is built in an RPA, um, a resource protected area. Uh, that means that one part of the house is within a hundred uh, feet of a uh, stream or a stream bed. In this case Donaldson Run which eventually flows into the Chesapeake Bay. Because of that, we need to address phosphates or water runoff on this house, maybe more than, than uh, other houses, but still this is an important issue for all homes in Arlington County. So just going over some of the things that we've done in the house, I will point you up, um, this house does not have any gutters. It has, uh, the water runs off into what's called a channel drain. This has been designed by an engineer. This channel drain has about six inches of large stone that won't uh, erode over time on top of a filter fabric. The water comes off the roof, channels down through this drain, and then over this designed spillway into a designed planner. This was also designed in conjunction with Arlington County. The unique thing about this planner, it's four by ten, um, so it's pretty large, and it's about five feet deep, and the first uh, two feet are taken up by clean uh, washed gravel, and a pipe, there's a pipe down there that the water that comes off the spillway will eventually get to. Once the water gets into the filtration planter, it has to go through the filtration process. And this has been designed by engineers really all over the country on what the best method is to filter phosphorus out of water and also to keep it from flowing too fast over land. One of the things we've done and that's been designed into this planter is first, of course, you have the wash gravel at the bottom with the pipe in it. Then on top of that pipe, we don't have any filter fabric. On top of that pipe, we almost have two feet of this sand mixture. This is called a planting media. It is not soil. It is 85% sand, 10% soil, and 5% uh, something called leaf starter, which is sort of like a, a mulch or a uh, fertilizer, but it's natural. And so what happens is the water passes through this, goes down through the planter into a perforated pipe at the bottom, and eventually leaves the house or leaves this area, and then goes through another filtering area at the bottom of the property, which is less intense, and then spills out over the property. So what happens is we capture all the water from this house in this area, about half the house, in this area, and it is able to filter out um, and filter all the, the phosphates out before it leaves the property. The second critical part of our water retention and biofiltration plan is pervious concrete. You see the planter over there, and then you see here we've got the actual driveway. This driveway is has underneath it a 20 inch bed of gravel, washed gravel, and then six inches of what's called pervious concrete. Now I've just washed my hands from messing with that uh, soil over there and I am now going to pour on this pervious concrete so you can see how quickly it absorbs the water. As you can see, the water is not going anywhere. It 
it's gone. This is a really an incredible, incredible um, advancement in technology. Uh, you see, you are, you do see people use pavers with sand in between, and these are. This is a pervious product as well, but pervious concrete is slightly lower in cost and has a much higher uh, absorbency rate. So, um, for this particular project, it was ideal. One of the most important things about uh, building a new house is to make sure that you are preserving the property that you're on, preserving it during construction, and also, if you can, preserving any existing bushes and the existing canopy, most importantly. Uh, we feel really proud that in this case we have preserved almost the entire canopy on the property, uh, only cutting down uh, three trees and leaving about 98% uh, of the canopy. You'll see behind me there are several trees. This uh, large tree here was uh, slated to be taken down. We were able to, pre to preserve it by uh, working very delicately uh, with the area around our driveway, our client's driveway. Also these trees in front, we were able to do a good job with them. Thanks for watching. This is Patty Shields with Metro Green Home Builders. Join us again next time for another segment on how to build a green home. Thank you. If you would like more information on the Green Home Choice Program, please visit our website at arlingtonenergy.us slash greenhomechoice or call us at 703-228-4792. For the Air and Green Home Choice Programs, I'm Helen Reinecke-Wiltz.